A ball of modeling clay turns into a goose. Shape small details and paws with a modeling tool. We can make feathers out of felting wool. Let's trim. Yellow pastels will paint the feathers. Dark eyes and some shadows. Mother Goose missed her baby. Oh, there are so many of them. A Goose family is walking through the city. You need to be careful when you cross the road. The cars always give way to this family because geese always walk according to the rules. The family is going to the park. The children got distracted and fell behind. Uh-oh, they mistook a cat for their mom. Oops, and now a dog. At the same time, Dr. Claire and her friend were sitting on a bench and noticed the children. Oh. We need to get these geese together. Uh -huh. Claire, here are their parents. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Looks like you lost your children. Mm -hmm. The family is finally back together. <laughs> This old Kigurumi will bring a new character to life. Cut fleece fabric. Take yarn and connect all the details to make the body of a lion. Add a head separately. Wire, you have work to do. Our lion needs a wire skeleton. Attach small stones. Add more volume with synthetic stuffing. Artificial fur made a gorgeous mane and a tassel on his tail. Don't forget about a pair of eyes. The lion will choose the right yarn himself. Pads made out of artificial leather will protect paws. What should we feed the baby with? Is he not hungry? Weird, he picked a carrot. The lion is bored. He doesn't know what to do. The employees noticed and brought him some treats. Uh -huh. Basil didn't like the chicken. He didn't even touch it. Maybe a steak? Huh? That doesn't look right. We need to examine him. Let's bring out some sleeping pills. Shh, looks like he fell asleep. The doctor is worried. Hmm. A physical is not enough. We need to do an MRI. Everything was clear on the screen. Our patient is just a vegetarian. And all this time, he only wanted vegetables and hugs. <laughs> we'll have to give him a carrot and let him go. The lion is harmless. <laughs> Let's make some new animals. We'll start with modeling clay. Make a body of a tiny bear. Maybe this is a polar bear? No, you're on the wrong continent. Dip the bear in wool. Oh, it's a cute panda. Add eyes, a nose, and highlights. Do you want some bamboo, little one? Claire takes care of little pandas. <laughs> they need love and care. Uh, yes! But the bears are active and happy. They look so happy. It's time for a snack. Claire fed the bears. They hugged, laid down, and now they are in a good mood. Well, babies, should we go for a walk? <laughs> Wooden skewers go in a straight line. Let's secure them. Add perpendicular pieces. Install the wooden skewers inside a styrofoam block. We can also use these branches. This is a very comfy ladder. Paint the base to look like wood. Moss will create the right vibe. A tire on a rope will serve as swings. It's so fun to climb this ladder. Pandas are having lots of fun on their new playground. Claire took babies to the backyard. Come here, don't be scared. Hey! Look, you need to climb. But it didn't take long. The bears already felt comfortable on the playground and enjoyed exploring. <laughs> Claire is happy. The pandas love it. 
<laughs> Remove a piece of wire from an old coat hanger. Install stands inside the box. And add the second layer to the top. These sparkly straws will come in handy. Don't forget about wheels from buttons. Paint the tray to look like metal. Pour out the old eyeshadow. Metal containers turn into containers for medical instruments. Shape wire to make a piece for scissors. Make a blade. And one tool is ready. There is a big tweezer and his younger brother. Baby, go join the scissors. And here is a convenient wet wipes package. We can make a trash can out of a plastic box. A tray with medical equipment and materials is a must have for a vet center. A big dog with a hurt paw came to see Claire. Poor thing, what happened to you? Huh? She got hurt on a spiky bush. We'll fix it. But the dog is scared of medical procedures. Oh. That's okay, I'll find an approach to her. Uh -huh. After a nice conversation with Claire and tasty snacks, the dog wasn't scared of anything. She'll have to wait a bit. Claire is using instruments and carefully removes the thorn. She also trimmed the face, cleaned her ears, and gave her a shot. Now the dog is absolutely okay. Stay healthy. <laughs> Take a piece of nitrile gloves. Add double-sided tape. Bend wire to create the shape of bat wings. Connect the halves together. Let's fly. Shape a face out of modeling clay. Tie a pipe cleaner to make a couple of nuts. Secure a fluffy body. We made a whole row of bats. But don't forget about paws. Oh, there are so many of them here, we can barely count them. We can make small diapers out of an old sock. Combine a sequin and a bead. And a monster, running around, dropped a couple of pops. There are enough binkies for everyone. Jane came back late in the evening. Careful, you're not watching the road at all. <gasps> Ouch! The poor girl was so busy with her phone that she tripped. <sighs> All of a sudden, she came face to face with a little bat. So cute. I need to take care of him while the mom is not around. Mm -hmm. This old box will be a carrier. Hmm, where is this noise coming from? Huh? Wow, your siblings are here. <gasps> I'll have to save you all. Yes. The doctor was about to leave when Jane came in. Hi. Help them, please. Oh, my mom won't let me keep all these bats. Okay, I'll help you. Claire put on her scrubs again. Hmm. Let's see. Wow, oh, they are so little. <laughs> they need soft diapers. Mm-hmm. Is this comfortable? Hmm. <laughs> you betcha. Get some rest. <laughs> oh, you're probably hungry? Yes. Milk and care will get you well soon. They are such cuties. Why is everyone scared of them? Snap, and a cardboard strip became little squares. Cover them with a soft layer. Add a small rope to the sides. The straws stretched as much as possible. Use the bendy part for a pipe. Make openings in cardboard pieces. Let's build a maze. Textured cardboard will serve as a ladder. And glittery foam paper turns into a tiny house. Animals should have enough space for food and water. Cover the bottom of a plastic box with stuffing. A comfy cage like this is like heaven for a rodent. Irene loves her hamster. This fluffy little baby takes up all her time. <laughs> she equipped the cage with all the right stuff. Straws, shelves, a house, and a comfy place for food. Willie, it's time for a snack. But the greedy hamster ate so much that he got stuck in the tube. <gasps> ah, what should I do? I need to get to the vet. Uh huh. Miss Claire, we have an emergency. <laughs> Did you get stuck? That's okay, it happens. <laughs> Claire used a treat to get him out. He couldn't say no. 
<laughs> oh, it was a false alarm. Everyone is okay. Oh, thanks. I was so worried. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> Irene came home. Hamster Willy is warm and comfy inside her pocket. The most important thing is that he doesn't decide to chew new holes in her shirt. 